folks and all the witches. Uh, the old, old house. through the land called Jerusalem Ridge where we used to fox hunt up there. And the title of this number here is Jerusalem Ridge. I want you to listen close to it and if you like it, give Kenny Baker a hand when, when he gets through.
say good night and take good care of yourself. Big hand for Phil Monroe, everybody. This portion of the Friday Night Opera has been brought to you by Smith's. They brew that beer with gusto or taste the best. Life's too short to settle for less, so go for the gusto or don't go at all. Clear Channel 650 WSN, Nashville, Tennessee. Tommy Boots, a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe. Fourth are ready to pick for you now, and before they do, I'd like to tell you where we're going to play. Uh, tomorrow's the 28th of June, and we're going to be at Coachella, Louisiana, with the big Bluegrass Festival down there, along with James Monroe and, and the Midnight Ramblers, the Bluegrass Boys, and we're going to have a wonderful time. And James' festival at Cosby, Tennessee, is the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of July. Don't forget that. With the big Bluegrass Festival there, with a lot of fine Bluegrass names. And then Rosine and Beaver Dam, Kentucky, on July the 4th, 5th, and 6th for a big uh, bluegrass and country show there. I'd like to give you the rundown of the people that's going to be there. Ernest Tubbs will be there. Uh, Pee Wee King, Jane Monroe and the Midnight Ramblers, Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys, Jack Green, Jeannie Seeley, Wendy Bagwell, Carlin Pearl Butler. It'll be a great show up there. And don't forget the dates on that. Let me get them here one more time. It's the 4th, 5th, and 6th of July. Keep that in mind. That's a new um, Bluegrass Music Land Park there. In August, the 8th, 9th, and 10th at Jackson, Kentucky, right up in the mountains of Kentucky for a big Bluegrass Festival up there. I would like to uh, start a number here for you and see if you remember it. It was the first one ever sung on the Grand Ole Opry. Listen to it.
to listen. Everybody's listening on air tonight. Be sure to listen to Kenny Baker do Jerusalem Ridge. has been brought to you by Beech Nut Chewing Tobacco. Today's Beech Nut has more tastes and less stems. Like they say, Beech Nut just keeps on getting better. Clear Channel 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, the broadcasting service of the National Alliance. Now, the Friday Night Opry is brought to you by Outdoor Resort, Hermitage Landing, only 10 minutes from Opryland to palm trees and a white sand beach. Now singing for Hermitage Landing, here is a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. Thank you, Harold. Thank you. Howdy, folks. We're glad to be here with you. And the Bluegrass Boys are ready. Kenny Baker, Ralph Lewis, Randy uh, Davis, and Bob Bryant. We'd like to do a number entitled Mary Jane, Won't You Be Mine? Sweet as honey, 
She shine like the morning star. July the 20th, we'll be in South Bend, Indiana, and on uh, the 26th and 27th, we'll be in Livonia, Georgia, for a bluegrass festival there. Ottawa, Ohio, on the 2nd of August. And then the Kentucky Bluegrass Festival at Jackson, Kentucky, the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Keep that in mind, Jackson, Kentucky, with the great names in bluegrass music. Glenville, West Virginia, on the 15th, 16th, and 17th, with the Ralph Stanley, James Monroe, Bill Monroe, the Bluegrass Boys, Sal Doe Plumbing coming out to keep the name, and a lot of bluegrass groups are going to be there. Henderson, Colorado on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Don't forget that. Henderson, Alabama on the 28th. And the Bluegrass Festival at Rosine, Kentucky, Rosine and Beaverdam, Kentucky, on the 29th, 30th, and 31st of August. Keep that in mind, Labor Day weekend. And we'll have a lot of bluegrass groups at Rosine, Kentucky there. Keep that in mind. And come and visit. We'll be with you. mighty glad to have you. Now we want to move along here and fill a law request for this next number. I haven't sung it in a long time. Entitled The Girl in the Blue River Band. Sí. 
didn't mean to stand quitting or stealing. God knows I'm an innocent man, but the guilty one now she lies dying. The girl in the blue velvet dress. I'll be out in the heaven, I'm a reaper. And I carry the name of a man That's up in years in prison For the girl in her blue baby band We have a man in the number. Oh, Kentucky man. sitting on top of the world. Thank you. 
was brought to you by the bold one, Schlitz Small Liquor. Nobody makes small liquor like Schlitz. Nobody. Clear Channel 650, WSN. Remember the Country Music Hall of Fame, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boy. Thank you, Harold. Thank you. The Bluegrass Boys are glad to be here with you tonight. Kenny Baker, Ralph Lewis, Randy Davis, and Bob Fly. I was out at St. Thomas Hospital today and visited Lester Flat, and he's feeling good. And the doctor's going to let him go home this coming Monday. So that, that makes the Bluegrass boys feel good, and I know it does you folks too. Everybody's been pulling for Lester Flatt, and he's a fine man. When he worked with me, he wrote a song that I want to sing for Lester Flatt tonight and for you folks that's here in the audience and for everybody that's listening in to the little cabin home on the hill.
Kenny Baker, and it's a number entitled The Action Breakdown. And the Bluegrass Boys will see you a little bit later on tonight. Thank you a lot. <laughs> this portion of the Grand Ole Opry is brought to you by Beech Nut Chewing Tobacco. Around here, Beech Nuts, the tobacco you chew, because it just keeps on getting better. to sing for Beach Nut. Here's a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. Thank you, Harold. Thank you. And we're glad to be here for the last show tonight. Kenny Baker, Ralph Lewis, Bob Black, and Randy Davis and myself. We're going to do a number entitled Never Again will be the first one out. You cheated and you lied, I stayed right by your side. 
tell you where we're going to be playing in the next few days. Tomorrow, Sunday, the 20th, we'll be in South Bend, Indiana, and along with the Bluegrass Boys, we'll have a group from the eastern part of Kentucky of the name of the Outdoor Plumbing Company. It's going to be there, their wonderful bluegrass group. Then on the 26th and 27th, we'll be in Livonia, Georgia, for a big bluegrass festival. Ottawa, Ohio, on the 2nd of August. Jackson, Kentucky, on the 8th, 9th, and 10th, for a big uh, bluegrass weekend right there in Jackson, Kentucky. Renville, West Virginia on the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Henderson, Colorado on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And then Anniston, Alabama on the 28th. And Rosine, Kentucky, and Beaver Dam, Kentucky on the, the, the 29th, 30th, and 31st uh, Labor Day weekend. And then Atlanta, Georgia, we'll be there on the 1st of September. Chatham, Alabama with the Sullivan family, James Monroe, and Ralph Stanton, people like that for the 5th, 6th, and 7th of September. Back to the Bluegrass Boys, and I'd like to do a number that's been sung more on the Grand Ole Opry than any number. I'd like to do it for all you folks tonight, entitled John Henry, The Steel Driver.
Bill. Bill took time out from all those big festivals to come in tonight and be with you. You know, Hello, Grant, the Bluegrass Quartet is getting ready to sing for you, but let me uh, tell the folks throughout the country where we're going to be playing tomorrow, and, and Sunday we'll be in Livonia, Georgia, for a big Bluegrass Festival. Then on August the 2nd, out of Ohio, Bean Blossom, Indiana on the 3rd, Jackson, Kentucky for a big Bluegrass Festival on the 8th, 9th, and 10th, uh, the 15th, 16th, 17th, a Bluegrass Festival in West Virginia, at Glenville, West Virginia, and on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, Henderson, Colorado for a festival, and then Anniston, Alabama on the 28th, Rosine, Kentucky, and Beaverdam, Kentucky for a big Bluegrass Festival. It's on 062 between Beaverdam and Rosine, the 29th, 30th, and 31st of uh, August for a uh, big Bluegrass Festival there. Atlanta, Georgia on the, the 1st of September, Chatham, Alabama, with the Sullivan family, James Monroe, and a lot of bluegrass entertainers at Chatham, Alabama, for our bluegrass festival on the 5th, 6th, and 7th. Now, it's time for the quartet, and we'd like to do the number for all you folks that's here at the Grand Ole Opry tonight, entitled, Somebody Touch Me. entitled The Prisoner Song.